four-month outline from just the starter pack study plan. And initially, I, I went through all the videos and watched some of the YouTube videos. And then I was just kind of following that outline in terms of the logic games, starting with that. And so then I just, um, I just started doing some logical reasoning last week and then got derailed with work. So I haven't gotten as much of that under my belt as I had hoped. But so yeah, I've, I have a good foundation with logic games and then had just gotten into logical reasoning. Okay, cool. That's good to hear. Uh, in terms of unpacking problems that give you trouble, what are you doing in terms of using explanations and reviewing? So I've been, the ones on your site that you have linked, I've been going through all of those and kind of just trying to work back through it again with see what part of the problem I got wrong and try to understand how I went there. I'd say the biggest thing I've noticed, I think, which again, going through step by step, just redoing it one at a time. My biggest thing has been kind of getting things back and I'm sure it's a common, <clears throat> I'm sure it's common with the LSAT, but getting things back, like I have the, I know what I'm doing, but I'm flipping it or just simple little stuff that will then derail my entire diagram. Mm -hmm. So the small mistakes. Yeah. And I think that's, again, that's always been my biggest thing with school and everything. And I know it's early and <clears throat> I've been trying to like keep myself grounded. Don't worry about the timing, just try to get that foundation. But I know still what I'm going through in the back of my head. It's like, oh, this one's taking me so long or just like simple little things that will then can easily derail the entire game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have been, I think that's why I've been, I kind of took a step back and I stopped doing as many problems just because I, again, I felt like I was aimlessly doing them, <clears throat> but not really getting the understanding. So then I started going through and trying to read more into it, watch more of the content and, try to just unpack the different types of problems and like multi-level ordering, for example, those were giving me a lot of issues at first with, again, just not getting my diagram set up properly. And then I'm getting stuck and feel like that's throwing off my entire mentality with the game. Right. Right. I get what you mean. Yeah. I mean, with a lot of logic games, there's one major inference or one thing that can unlock the game for you. And so if you don't have that, that presents a holdup and puts you in the position where you may want to, by default, simply work by brute force, which is, of course, inefficient. If you were to try doing each answer choice, testing it out one at a time, that's never the way to do it. There's always a better way. And as you do more and more games, you'll see those patterns that help unlock them for you. Yeah, and I think, <clears throat> again, that is my bit, like, Obviously, I could sit there all day and go through each answer and get to it eventually, but that I think that's why I got frustrated early on is because I was doing a lot of problems, and again, I can look at it and I know what's going on, but then in terms of actually diagramming it and getting through, I could easily get thrown off, and then that kind of, it was just frustrating, kept do, going through and not understanding like how to fix it for the next one. So I tried to slow it down. I, I think, again, for me, the biggest thing was, because I know it's learning, it's all patterns, repetition, figuring it out. And the biggest thing for me mentally is like, not worrying about the time, getting the basics and kind of seeing where I'm going wrong. So then I can start pushing through and it's more natural. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, that comes with time. And so, yeah, I think, <clears throat> I guess my biggest question with just in terms of my roadmap was the what you think the best way to kind of balance problems, explanations, like going through all of that. Because again, I've, I could like watching the videos and going through all of the problems listed, but obviously there's not an explanation for every single one and that's a crazy undertaking anyway. So it's 
I'm just trying to figure out between like reading stuff, watching videos, or just going through what do you think is the best way to kind of manage your time in that sense? Well, definitely not for every problem you can plead. That would be far too much, of course. Just really for the problems that give you the most trouble. Something, whether you got it right or wrong, if you feel like there was a way you could have approached it more efficiently, or you did have trouble with it, or you did make mistakes, then in those cases, it's certainly worth looking it up. But only for a select smaller number of problems. Okay, so really just, because again, even when I first got into it, I could immediately tell it, I wasn't sure what the games were, but just going through, you can see like, all right, I'm like, I can look at this problem and get through it a lot quicker than recognizing this one and know it's going to slow me down. And so those ones, obviously, yeah, it's easier to see if I'm missing something, it's one little thing and that's more easy to correct. But I guess in terms of just, I, oh, like how I mentioned, I got held up at the beginning just with doing too many problems and not getting it with logic games. I was thinking going forward with logical reasoning, reading comp, just what do you think the best way is to start? And like, do you think it's better to read and do everything first, try to understand it or jump right in, get some problems understand where your weaknesses are and then go from there specifically it's somewhere in between i mean you don't want to go in totally cold into a, a new question type it can just be discouraging and overwhelming and the accuracy rate will not be high if you don't build that foundation first so i do recommend learning the basics of each section each question type this applies to the else as a whole but then once you've gotten the basics down i wouldn't fall into the trap of trying to understand every textbook theoretical angle for a given question type, just enough to give you a basic understanding of what they're looking for you to do, then jump into some problems to drill and practice. Okay, that makes sense. And then in terms of just how that format works, I guess, so are the workshops, do you guys, you have specific problems laid out in advance that you're than working for each class? Yeah, so typically we'll list on the sidebar what the agenda is going to be. So for example, tonight's Monday, Monday, March 21st, 8 p.m., there's PT80 Passage 1 and PT81 Passage 3. So agenda for tonight's reading comp class. For Tuesday, 8 p.m., Logic Games, the agenda is Prep Test 82, Game Number 2. Okay. And so are these, is the class, do you just work through that? Anyone can ask questions? Do you go through, I guess, just curious how that all works or what, I mean, is that a time that are you only focusing on that? Or if you had like a question for a game that's relative to PT82 game two? Would yeah, you so, yeah, sure. So, I mean, the, the agenda will be PT82 game two. But if you wanted to bring up a similar game, especially one that's in Law Hub where everyone will have access, that's definitely a good thing to bring up. Depending on how the class unfolds, there may be time at the end to ask something else. But you can also email me, and if there's a totally different game you wanted to talk about, we could always add that to the agenda for an upcoming class. Okay. And then you'll see that the, the Wednesday 8 p.m., class Wednesday 8 p.m. logical reasoning the it's open so you can propose questions you want to cover so that'll be more of a grab bag okay. it'll be logical reasoning focused but it'll be anything logical reasoning is fair game okay that makes sense yeah now I can say I can register for all these and that's that's all good so I think yeah I guess I still I'll have to go through and watch um the workshops and get through those before but i think i'll be good to start the classes this week and again so even i guess so like i haven't done anything for reading comp yet but like if they have a specific topic for an upcoming class and i just wanted to do it and then like is that fine if you're just doing it and then kind of 
watching because again it like reading calm classes obviously i haven't done much yet but does it still make sense to join and just see what they're working through whenever i can totally. yeah reading comp in particular there are methods of course there is foundational stuff to learn but not nearly as much for reading comp as for logic games, like logic games, I think a lot of folks would be overwhelmed jumping into logic games without any prior exposure. But for reading comp, I do think that's a class that's a bit easier to just jump into and see what it's like. And yeah, so I would just join. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You could just kind of sit back and listen and learn. I think that'd be fine. And so I also wanted to ask, I know I mentioned to you previously the daily study outline that my sister had used from way back when that it also had like articles attached to it stuff like that I was wondering if you had anything updated that was the same kind of thing yeah sure so I've discontinued that format because I found that like a, a pdf was just too static and I was creating more and more resources and making tweaks and improvements all the time. And so if I was using PDFs, everything would quickly become outdated and I didn't want to keep reissuing new PDFs whenever I made a small change. So I do have, and this is maybe you saw inside the foundational section of the course, the found the study plan section. I'll, I'll put that link in the chat for you here. So if you click that, that contains the foundational study plans, and that is the adapted version of the PDF that your sister had. So that that's what I had been working off of. I just didn't know if there was, again, trying to make sure I had everything centralized as possible. But that makes sense. So I'll just keep going down that one then. And then what you can do, by the way, is, I mean, you can supplement this link, the foundational study plans that you've been using with the full length class recordings in the workshops section of the course. I was going to say, I did just quickly browsing once I had seen that that was unlocked, I saw there was a lot more content and kind of explanation stuff in there too, that I thought would be good. Yeah, there's a ton there and it's, it's more than anybody could reasonably go through. There's a lot because if we're doing four nights a week of classes. That means that each week we're uploading all that video into the workshop section. So it's growing and growing too quickly to work through it all, but you can pick and choose what you'd like. Yeah. And so the classes are Monday through Thursday and seven to nine? Typically, yeah. It'll vary slightly by evening. We try to make certain nights a bit later and certain ones a bit earlier. So some nights will start at seven, Others will start at eight and then end at 10 or 11. Uh, I don't remember what it currently, the exact schedule currently is. We tweak it occasionally based on people's availability, but that's roughly the range is seven to 10 PM. Yeah, that makes sense. I just didn't know exactly what everything was. Okay. I mean, yeah, I think. Like I said, I haven't had time to dive into everything else that unlocked, but I did see that was a lot more content. I'm sure that'll be everything I need. And I start going to the classes. But yeah, I think now I'm, I should be ready to go. Awesome. Well, if you have any questions or need anything at all, just shoot me an email, reach out. I'm happy to help. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Sean. Have a good one. I appreciate it. You too. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.